Hi everybody, it's Colin from 34107 at Darth Vexers from St. Joseph Robotics. And welcome to the 2022-2023 Vex IQ Competition Slapshot. Before we review this year's Herobot, let's get a quick summary on this year's game. This year's game is played with 45 discs. Each of them are 2.5 inches. You need to remove them from the dispenser to get some points, but the big points come whenever you slide them under the bar. There are three different mechanisms. The first one that we're going to be talking about is the blue one that tips like this. Next. Oh, you got plenty of bloopers already, though. <laughs> no. Who's going to do a top one? The next mechanism is the yellow one, and you push the button just like this. The last one is the purple mechanism. You use it by using the pirate wheel just like this. So you get one point for releasing the discs out of their mechanisms, but all the big points come whenever you slide them under the bar. So there are four different zones. The purple is worth two points, the blue is worth three points, the green is worth four points, but be careful because you don't want to get it in the one point zone, which is the yellow. So this year there's an end game mechanism. And if you can reach over and touch one of these zones, any disc in that scoring zone is worth one extra point per disc. So this year's starting positions are really nice. You have this whole back wall to do to start anywhere with. So you can start with right here, or right here, or right here, or even all the way down here as long as some part of your robot is touching the back wall. So this is the Slapshot Hero Bot. Its name's Snapshot. This Hero Bot uses four motors. Two for the drivetrain, one for this end game mechanism, and one for the collector slash shooter. So this year's shooting mechanism is kind of unique. It pulls the discs in, and then once it gets up to this certain area, it flips them, then it goes down like a conveyor belt. And it shoots them out from all the pressure from the motors and how it just slides. But the shooting mechanism is very inconsistent. Sometimes it'll have a perfect shot and just get into the four point zone. But other times it'll just misfire and get onto the bar or just fall out. So you can see that the left rubber band is kind of falling off track, which means that the conveyor won't run anymore. So we did a small little adjustment to make the rubber band perfect and have a perfect shot. So while this year's HeroBot has an in-game mechanism, it's really hard to use. As you can see here, getting it over the wall is really difficult. It's sometimes just best if you get it like halfway over the wall and then you adjust to get it all the way over. Here's our final review over this year's Hero Bot. The shooting mechanism is kind of unique because it brings the discs in, it flips them over, then it has it on kind of like a rubber band belt kind of that flips them over and takes them out. Thanks to Joseph Lipper for the idea of using a rubber band right here. 
because um, it gives it more tension. And we found out that a pulley wasn't enough. This robot was pretty hard to build, especially for a new team. And this was the hardest part, was getting these rubber bands all the way across to this front part. This robot isn't designed to release any of the discs from the dispensers, but you still have two motors. You can come up with your own way of doing that. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Good luck in your season, and hopefully I'll see you in May in Dallas for the World Championship. Meanwhile, I'll still be sitting here trying to get this yellow dispensary loaded.